Good morning, everyone. My name is Tev. That's half of my name you see it on the schedule. I'm from US Cambodia, USA Cambodia, and um, the Ag officer there, and I will be presenting the overview of Cambodian Feed the Future program. Well, this is the Feed the Future result framework, and uh, it is heading towards reducing global hunger and poverty and hunger, and that's what actually we're doing. And we do that uh, through different mechanisms, and this is the baseline statistics it shows you where we are and where we are heading to. And the first two lines are really important to us, which is stunting of children under five years of age and the wasted children. As you see, the baseline for stunted children is 43%, which is really high, and we want to bring it to 35. And the wasted children under five years of age <coughs> is 13, and we'd like to bring it to 10. Uh, this is a really high challenge, but through our midterm evaluation, we have seen a significant progress on that one. We're not able to uh, cover all of Cambodia, but we're working on four provinces. That's our zone of influence, mainly the Battambang province, Simrip, Kampon Tam, and the Prusat provinces. And. Uh, this is a Feed the Future zone of influence, and we have two different, three different, actually, mechanisms. We have the sustainable forest and biodiversity as part of the Feed the Future uh, program funding. We have the DCA and uh, National Agricultural Census. The Cambodia harvest is our main flagship, which is a $56 million. Uh, feeds the Future and the Global Climate Change Funding. And we are focusing on four different categories and agribusiness value chain, mainly focusing on rice, horticulture, and low input uh, fish pond. And we have social inclusion, focusing on the nutrition and vocational training. We also have policy and enabling environment that we are really working in Cambodia very hard and we have the natural resource management uh, category as well. The primary targets for Cambodia harvest 70,000 householders and uh, we have 140,000 trained agricultural trainings and, and so and so forth and uh, this is pretty much a high target and we are achieving that. The technical assistance program through our harvest uh, mechanism is training through lead clan demonstration, and mainly focusing on direct technical assistance through extension agents. Uh, in three cycles, this is, this is a very unique feature of the Cambodia Harvest Program, and we are working hard on that one too. Uh, so far, technical assistance has been extended to 47,000, which is pretty much more than half that we are anticipating to cover. and. 80,000 people receive uh, assistance. And the result again shows pretty much a significant progress in our endeavor. We have constraints, problems as elsewhere, and uh, these are our problems or constraints. Dealing with subsistence agriculture, dealing with really poor farmers is a challenge, as you all know. Poor household debt is it's a traditional habit in Cambodia, whether somebody is poor or belongs to <coughs> the middle class, the traditional uh, diet is just rice for breakfast, rice for lunch, and rice for dinner, and we got to work on that one hard. Labor migration, particularly to Thailand and Vietnam, is really a very tough problem that we're uh, facing. Climate change and uh, all that kind of stuff. The other implementing mechanism is rice field fisheries enhancement project, which is two million for a uh, four-year project, and uh, this is through World Fish, uh, our implementing partner, to develop and improve sustainable rice field fisheries management practices, and uh, we have achieved a significant progress on that one as well. Uh, 
The other implementing mechanism is the DCA, which is a four-year program, 2.7 million. This is a loan portfolio guarantee uh, with the Takia Plum Cambodia uh, microfinance institution. And uh, we're working pretty, getting pretty good significant result on that one. And the other one, which is uh, our implementing mechanism is the first national census of agriculture, which is the first in its kind in the history of Cambodia. And we are trying to establish the first reliable, well-structured statistical information which can be available for the government, NGOs, and all stakeholders who really like to use that. And uh, the last one is the Future, future Impact Evaluation, which has two categories. One is dealing with the impact evaluation, and the other one is strengthening local capacity, uh, which also involves formal training, including PhDs for technical staff and uh, uh, mid-level professionals as well. And that's all I have. Thank you very much. To learn more, please visit agrilinks.org and feedthefuture.gov. And to learn more about this mission's activities, please visit www.usa.gov Cambodia.